And yeah. it runs from? Exactly, because it starts in Alaska uh -huh. and across all Canada, United States, Mexico, all Central America, until uh, Tierra del Fuego in Chile. And what's they call this highway? Interamericana. Interamericana. Um, We're talking about the economy, our first industry, it is tourism, right? Tourism. The second one, high technology. Right now we really? have... Have, yes, right now we have a lot of American companies here, like Amazon, Microsoft, um, Intel, yes. And the third one, agriculture. Our main product for exportation is microchips for computers, microchips. And the second one, pineapple. We are the number one country in pineapple exportation. So in our country, education is free and mandatory. Free and mandatory until 18 years old, including college, is free, totally free for Costa Ricans and for residents, people from for, from other other countries who, who lives here. La carne, la carne de res. Bueno, allá, aquí, digamos, eh, puedes escoger entre carne de res, pescado, pollo. Eh, puedes escoger entre esos tipos de carne para acompañar. Mi recomendación, la res, porque a donde vamos, que son a las tierras bajas del Caribe, ¿verdad? Ahí producimos mucha carne, la carne es muy fresca. Eh, por ley solo podemos consumir carne Brahma, que es de Brasil, ¿verdad? El, el ganado Brahma y el ganado Angus, que es de Estados Unidos. Solo esas dos razas se producen en Costa Rica. Yes, we are, so he was saying, telling in um, Spanish, so I was explaining in English, he was saying that they got like a lot of fruits here and fish, chicken, langosta, which is lobster, shrimp. Remember, on. Costa Rica is a very narrow country and we have two oceans, Caribbean and Pacific. The so it's each border the two, um, the Pacific and the Caribbean. Exactly, and we have a very fresh product talking about uh, uh, seafood. Uh -huh. You see shrimps, uh, fish, all that you need from, from the ocean. Uh -huh. Is here. We have, yes. So right here is like, um, in, in Costa Rica, it's just very, very rich when it comes down to food, yeah, for sure. Remember. So you guys not you guys not like you know starving or hunger for nothing. You got so many food here. Exactly. It's just endless. Exactly. And remember, in Costa Rica, we produce a hundred percent that wheat. Based wheat. Of that no, a hundred percent that uh -huh. we eat. Oh, a hundred percent for sure. We produce wheat too. We, wheat. You, you do? Wheat, wheat. Oh yes. Ah, huh. and guys, this is uh, uh this is the airport. Uh, this is uh, uh will be free. Right. I think in, in a, I maybe in two years or three years we'll be free um, with in Costa Rica. Yeah. yeah. And that's San Jose Airport this, right here, right? Exactly. Yeah. So Juan San, Santa Maria Airport. Oh. Juan Santa Maria is the name. So, so this is the airport. You had different different uh, airlines from all over the world come here. Mm -hmm. This is Alajuela City. Ala, Alajuela. Oh, Ala, Alajuela. Alajuela City. Second city talking about economy in our country because they have an international airport, they have a, um, a very tourism, very good tourism areas like uh, Poas Volcano, Fray Hannes Lagoon. Yeah, that's the airport right here. How much, how much percent? Uh, the product you guys ship out here, like you know, like ninety percent, eighty percent export in exporting. Well, um, like export, like, like export, like like banana, it, like. Este es el aeropuerto Juan Santa María, correcto. Por este llegamos. Por este llegaron, sí. Y aquí a la derecha es el inicio de la ciudad de Alajuela. Take another look. Esta es la capital de Alajuela. Volcano. Ejemplo, the highest a... mountain is volcano. Todo el día vamos a estar en la provincia de Alajuela. So Costa Rica is, is surrounded by mountains, mountains and volcanoes. In Costa Rica, they have a hundred and twenty volcanoes. And you had 112. 112, and you had what? Seven active. Seven active. Right seven now. active yeah. right now. This what it, it looked like here in our, in our country.
country, the water is completely drinkable all over the country. Drinkable. We never buy water in bottles like this. Costa Rica, really? never. We have potable water all over the country. So you're telling me actually the water in the pipe, you exactly. can actually drink it. For example, I will fill uh, in the next stop my bottle. From the in, pipe? From the pipe, from, exactly. It's totally drinkable all because over the you, country. You guys hearing this, man? Fruta, mm -hmm. I remember. Water is so important. Here. For all people. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. las marcas, tiene cinco marcas, es la Bavaria, es la, es la cerveza más exclusiva pero también es la más cara, esa, esa cerveza solo la toma la gente de alta sociedad, ¿verdad? Bavaria. Bueno, no, en realidad pues no tan cara, es una cerveza que te puede valer dos dólares y medio tal vez una botella. Luego está la Imperial que es muy famosa, la Imperial, ¿verdad? Y también la Pilsen que te acabo de decir, son para, para mí las tres mejores. This reminds me back home. Just a few meters back, that's Imperial. And you say Imperial is a... Um, is a... A guaro. 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 We call guaro our national drink, al alcoholic drink. Uh -huh. You see? And guaro is like an aboriginal word and means parrot. Uh -huh. Parrot. Because when, when the people drink a lot of guaro, Talk like a parrot. <laughs> talk like a parrot. And look at this. The soil here, the soil here is so totally different. Generalmente lo tomamos como eh, eh, como el tequila con limón y sal, verdad? Se toma el shot. Pero en mi caso, o hay mucha gente que nos gusta tomarlo así. Metemos dos shots en un vaso con hielo. A ese vaso le agregamos limón, un poquito de sal y se le agrega agua quinada. Entonces con el agua quinada queda, queda una, una bebida muy fresca, muy sabrosa, especialmente para tomarla como en la playa. ¿Qué es el agua quinada? El agua quinada es, es como el agua mineral, sí, sí. Yeah, he's talking about the liquor you drink. Uh -huh. talking about the drink. So guys, for you who don't understand Spanish, he's just talking about the, the type of drinks, the liquor they have here. Yeah. And how we drink, for example, we love drink water in shots. In shots. With a little bit lemon and salt, like tequila in Mexico. You're, All you're, right. You okay. see? Yes, yes, yes. Claro. And sometimes we combine the water with, um, for sure, ice, a um, little bit of soda. Uh -huh. We call agua quinada or, or agua mineral, or mineral water. And you can put a little bit lemon and salt and, and drink and it. And come out. Delicious. Bueno, muchachas, ya ven que nos estamos aleja alejando de la zona, ya nos estamos alejando de la zona urbana para estar ingresando ya a una zona un poquito más rural. Entonces, esta es la parte occidental de la de, de, del Valle Central, Costa Rica. Take a view. It's so fruitful here, man. In Costa Rica, there's a lot of farming here. And like my tour guide said, 100% live off the land here. So all the resources from food to water, the water is actually naturally here. And the energy? The energy, 100% energy comes from the Re renewable ways. Renewable energy. Exactly. Hydroelectric, geothermic, solar, and wind energy. And wind energy. So we are in the farming area. So you guys see a lot of farming going up. A lot of factories here. I mean, a lot of factories 
I saw this factory where they got Lance. Lance? Mm -hmm. Lance is, you know, if you guys go in like in Publix and go like in the little, in the, the biscuit area, you see they had some biscuit marks. Lance. It's like they had peanut butter between it. So that's a little sandwich. Actually, was produced here. The factory is back here. Do you eat that kind of flour in Jamaica? What flour is that? What we call it flor de tavo. It is a kind of it's a eatable flour. Flor de tavo, and we mix with eggs in the early in the morning. Eggs, onions, and the flour. Wow, yes. very good taste. Yes. What I've noticed down here, there's a lot of uh, semi trucks here. A, it seems like the the industry here in the trucking is very very rich. How many ports you got here? How many what? Ports. Exports. Yeah, port. Ports. Uh, we have uh, three different ports. Three different ports. Yeah, two located at the Pacific Pacific side and one located at the, the Caribbean side. And the Caribbean side. side. Exactly. So you guys have a lot of export coming out of this country. Exactly. Export and remember, talking about tourism, we receive a lot of cruisers. How do you say? Cruise. Tourists. Big. big um, Big boats, cru cru oh, cruise ship, cruise cru ship, cruise ship, yeah. Jose, okay, a lot of cruise ships, a lot, yeah, a lot of cruise ships like, like you in Ocho Rios or uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm Montego Bay, uh, Montego Montego Bay, Bay yeah, okay. different tourism areas. Yeah. Look at the big, uh, beautiful tree, the yellow tree. Yeah, that's the yellow tree, right? So, we're in, the, we're in the hills, bienvenido in Costa Rica, we're in the mountains. Enjoy. See you at my first stop. In my the, entourage. In the Oscar factory. In the Asco the factory. As, Asco factory. Do, do, do you remember? Do you know the ox? The big animals? Like yes. bulls? Yeah. The Oscars? Oscars. Well, Oscar was very, very important for us because it was of our of first main of transportation. Hmm. To export and import, yeah, products, especially coffee and banana. tengan tiempo libre para tomar fotos y disfrutar del lugar. Sí, 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 sí.
Ponga mucha atención. Ah, está aquí, está aquí, ¿verdad? And use the line, the white line around the design to show the form and the elegance of the traditional ones. Ustedes están en Sarchi. A Sarchi en Costa Rica se le llama la cuna de la artesanía. En este pueblo se vive una cultura diferente. Las familias quieren espacios especiales en sus casas para crear diferentes tipos de sonido. Los miércoles en la mañana, todos los artesanos del pueblo traen lo que producen y nosotros se lo compramos. Le compramos a 2,600 familias en el pueblo y recibimos aquí por día entre 500 a 800 personas por día. Es imposible para nosotros de llenar la tierra. Todo lo que es madera, tallado, pintado, todo lo que es un billete de cinco colores representa como creció nuestra economía a base del café, la carne de azúcar, el banano y el cacao. En los de segundo lugar, los elementos de los cinco colores siempre representan los cinco colores. Y cuando se vive en el pueblo, 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 se vive